There you go. Okay, we are back uh, meeting by Zoom. This is our regularly scheduled CPC meeting for Wednesday, April 13th, 2022. Um, the viewing public uh, can connect to this meeting uh, via uh, the Zoom uh, address that's on the duly noticed agenda. Um, and so uh, because we are entirely remote, I will quickly move through um, our kind of what we call our remote meeting script. Um, and first, uh, I will um, uh, ask uh, each of you to uh, an, uh, I'll take a yeah. call and everyone can uh, confirm that they can hear me, I can hear them, and we'll go as we usually do in alphabetical order. All right, uh, Joe Barnes. Here. Artie Crocker. Here. Uh, by the way, Artie, I don't know if any, congratulations. Thanks, Peter, appreciate okay. it. Okay, uh, really, uh, you worked really hard. I didn't know that you were on the. I didn't know you were on the death, the median death strip uh, last yesterday too. I know that you were there four years ago and survived. I, I wasn't. I wasn't on the the, the, the zone of death yesterday. At you but, I, but I was several weeks. Oh, you several were. days in a row, several weeks before that. But yeah. All right, good. I'm glad you flirted with disaster. That's yes, good. Sure. That shows how much you wanted. That's great. You, okay. You so all right. Who you, you only know who you are when you flirt with disaster, Pete. Sure. Keep that in sure. mind. Yeah. Yeah. That reveals you, uh, Bob Germany. I am present. Uh, Laura Dorfman. Here. Congratulations to Laura on your re-election in town meeting. Bob, I, I didn't even know I had to run, Peter. That's the funniest thing. You got more votes than I did. Okay. And I got more than my husband, more importantly. Ooh, and congratulations great. to you, Peter, being re-elected as well. Thank you, Artie. Even if I finished 24th. <laughs> okay. That's okay. <laughs> It was one of those moments when I was really happy. Like I could, no, I shouldn't say it. It's one of those many moments <laughs> when I was really happy I was married. Got, got that last vote. Okay. <laughs> winning, winning is winning, Pete. Winning is winning. They're all line drives in the scorecard. All right, Reg Foster. Here. Uh, Chris is going to be joining us, maybe. He's juggling a couple of things. So we're going to mark him absent. He's, he's in as a, he's listed as an attendee right now. Oh, good. Peter. Okay. So can he we promote okay. him? Yep, promoted him. Let's promote Chris. Well, I don't know. We should take a vote. Chris, nice. You've been promoted. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, my people. Okay, I'm Gene, present. Gene McKnight. Here. And Rick Simbo. I am here. And I'm Peter Bingator. I'm present. All right, staff. Cecilia Simchuk. Here. And Krista Wright. Here. Okay, and as I previously noted, this is a um, uh, open meeting of the Community Preservation Committee. Uh, we're, being, we're conducting it remotely by Zoom. Uh, it's consistent with Governor Baker's emergency uh, order of March 2020 as extended by legislative action uh, to uh, April 2022. Um, we, um, please note the meeting is being recorded uh, there's participation by video. Be aware that what you put on your screen could be shared to the public. Any, anything you broadcast may be captured by the recording. The meeting materials consist of uh, your agenda and I think a copy of the uh, final copy of the warrant article, of the, of the warrant from, for our May 2022 town meeting. And we'll note any other materials as we go forward. Uh, we'll, we'll go forward with our usually our usual ground rules. We just want to make a clean transcript, so we have to identify everybody on the record uh, with, before you speak, either by me or by yourself. Let's not cross over each other, and we still we need to have all votes by um, uh, by roll call. Okay. So uh, I think what we're going to do tonight is just kind of do the quick run through of preparation for our, for our town meeting. Um, let me start by doing a chairman's update. And uh, we learned from the League of Women Voters that uh, there will be a League of Women Voters warrant meeting on Monday. Uh, is it April 25th, Reg? Yes. Okay, this, these are my notes that I carefully drafted and they're sitting on my desk. So, okay, 22. Um, and so uh, we're gonna... Uh, uh, what I would like to know is if, if any or all of you are available to be at that warrant meeting and what we would do as our usual practice is to assign you 
to uh, one of the uh, one of the more uh, meeting rooms, and they double they're doubled up. So there are five meeting uh, five classrooms, A, B, C, D, E, F, and it follows. Okay, so it, first order of business is are uh, what, what I plan to do is this. Well, somebody's present, so I'll I'm in I, for example, and I could be present in I with this caveat, which is we have two major uh, articles, Emory Grover and the Housing Authority, two articles for Housing Authority. And what we think we're, we're gonna do, we've, we're working out with the League of Women Voters is to have um, Reg and Rick, if Rick's available, act as kind of rovers, you know, uh, that, that um, the way Dan Gudenkans has done in the past. So you can make yourself, you'll, you'll rotate through the five classrooms during the course of the evening and those individuals can ask any particularly uh, sticky or detailed questions that the resident member of CPC in the in the classroom would, uh, can't otherwise handle or or is you know wants to defer. So I thought that that would be an efficient way to deal with both the housing authority and Emory Grover. I think what I could do is ro either I or Joe Barnes could rotate with Dan Gudenkantz to each of the classrooms. Okay. But I thought Rick, as the as one of the um, liaisons, and Reg as the representative of the applicant, makes sense to kind of rove uh, roam through the classrooms uh, during the course of the evening. We got we think we have approval from legal and voters to do that. Laura Dorfman, question. I will not be there that day. I don't okay. know if it matters. I'm on vacation for. That's um, fine few days okay thank you that's fine but i think the the fact that we have uh these two you know if we have the plan of the kind of rovers then we're gonna we're gonna be fine okay so is anyone else oh joe barnes hands up yes uh as you recall bob dermody is handling emory grover uh for town meeting uh maybe it would be wiser for him to be the rover okay all right bob okay so bob and Dan, Bob, we're going to have to clear this with Dan Gudenkans, but you'll you'll rove with him, okay? Yes, uh, I accept nomination. Okay, good. All right, and then Rick Zimbo. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Jean's hand was up first. Jean with me. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be in room A and B uh, for the planning board. Great. So I'll be there anyway. So if I can cover whatever might come up, uh, well, if the rovers are not in the room when questions are asked. Okay, good. Great, you're assigned, A and B. Uh, I'm available for um, I and, I guess it's I and, I and J, okay. Uh, hand up, Rick, Rick Zimbo. Mute. Rick. I'm the only representative from Precinct H, I believe. Um, is there any, um, would, is it G and H that goes together? Yep. So is there anyone here from G? I am, but I'm a rover now. Okay, so now we're, we're closing in. So we have G and A and B. So we need C and D and an E and F. Anyone in C or D? I'm in D, Great. so I can do, do C and D if you need. Great. Well, uh, you, have, yeah. you have G and H, Peter. And if I'm a rover and Bob's a rover, then we don't have a representative in. Good point. Okay, let's go through this then. E and F. Anyone for E and F? Anyone for G and H? Um, I'm H and I, J and K. Uh, Peter isn't in G, G, H, and then. Am I wrong? That I've, I've overcounted. Yeah, that's why I need a script. Sorry. Nope. Got it. I think you left off on GH and then it would go IJ, I believe. It's IJ. Yeah. That's, I'm going to do IJ. And then H. Here we go. Okay. KL? No, that's all five, right? I got it. Okay. All right. So, so the assignments are so Gene McKnight, you're in AB. Chris Gersel, you're in CD. I'm in uh, IJ. 
And that's it, right? For people who are stationed in a classroom. And then from there, we have, now Joe, are you, Joe, you're a town meeting member. I am a town meeting member. I'm gonna be away during vacation week and I may not be back till that Monday and I'm not sure what time. So I, I will come if I can, but I'm not sure what time I'll be home. Okay. Um, now, the other thing we could do, if you want, is uh, we can have, well, we could have another me member. Now, let's just leave it that way. Let's just assign our members, sit, sit with your, in your classroom, and then we'll cover the other questions with uh, roamers. Does that make sense to people? Jean, you have a question now. Uh, yeah, just that um, I live in F, and if the warrant articles are far enough apart in the, um, the you know, the C, uh, Community Preservation Committee articles and the zoning articles, <clears throat> I could perhaps jump from one room to the other, if you thought that would be helpful. That's great. Can we I could do A, B, and um, E, F. E, F. But come to think of it, I can't very well cover the <laughs> the CPC articles in two places. Oh, so that's a silly offer. How can I do Good that? point. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Trying to be helpful. Well, Peter, one thing is that the, the CPC articles are early on in the warrant. Mm. Um, so that may, again, I don't know about your conversations with the uh, league, but, um, you know, that maybe you could you know, arrange it so that um, maybe one of the rooms is early in the discussion and the other room just postpones those articles until someone arrives. Okay, so let's, let's, let's then let's keep Gene in there and see if we can work that out. And okay, so then, okay. So do I have, uh, so I'm sorry, Gene, what are you in E or A, do you live in E and F? I'm, I'm in A and B anyway, I live in F. Okay, um, I could envision um, starting out in E and F and then moving to A, B, because the zoning is at the very end and asking the league if they could hold the uh, CPC articles to uh, just before or just after the zoning article, then I'd be sure to be there. Why don't I do a similar thing with GH so I can cover IJGH? They're probably close to each other. Well, I'll work that out, right? Well, where, where's Reg? Where do you live? I'm in D. Oh, okay. That doesn't help. Why don't I do? Why don't I see if I can cover both G uh, I I H and and G, uh, excuse me I J and G H? We'll take work that out with the league. Okay. Good. All right. So, um, so that just note the date, April twenty fifth. Reg, you, Reg can is I, our I, interface with the just, voters. Go ahead, Reg. Yeah, let me just ask. I was listening to the discussion just now, and um, uh, so I'm confused, uh, Gene, by your attending A B because when I talked to the league, they said there wasn't any um, planning or zoning warrant articles. There's um, one. one. There's there one. one. Okay. Yeah, it's um, it's about um, uh, zoning for a brewery as a so, use that would be allowed in our town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bob races. Thumbs up on that. How about? I'm wondering if you could swap for somebody else so that you can be in your own um, in your own um, precinct, which is the EF room. Well, I already offered on the planning board to be in A, B, and that seemed to fit best, even though I don't live there. So yeah. I guess what's being proposed is that um, I start in E, F. Um, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, I start in E, F. We cover the CPC articles. Then I shift over to A, B and cover the zoning article and ask the league if they would postpone CPC until just before or just after the zoning, and then I can do both. Yeah, and um, and I would just ask about GH. Is nobody in GH? So we just don't have. So well, I, 
Reg, Reg, that I that's my home precinct is H. Yeah. But you're um, not around. Yeah. But if, no, if I'm a rover, you know, we'd have to, that's what I'm saying. We need to work that logistics out with the league. Well, you don't have to be a rover. You know, we have to just start with a home precinct. So let me give you my um, report. I talked to uh, oh. Susan Welby um, uh, this afternoon because um, um, Peter was jammed all day here. And um, she confirmed the same format that we were just talking about. And that, it, you know, as in recent years, um, the moderators would like to have a, you know, representative from each board or committee that has some, something on the warrant to be attendance in each room. Um, and then they're just gonna take Q&A uh, from whoever the attendees are. Um, interestingly, they're going to have one or two rooms that are hybrid rooms. So there's been a big demand to have hybrid you know, league you know, warrant article meetings. Uh, so they're gonna to try to make that happen in one or two rooms um, so that town meeting members can sort of dial in from their comfort of their home office or kitchen or wherever and participate and see how that goes. Um, so they're, um, they, um, um, the, the thing uh, they said, uh, again, Susan, in her opinion, said this is actually a fairly um, light, quote unquote, or, you know, non-controversial town meeting. They're not, you know, big, you know, you know, zoning articles like rezoning mu the Muzzy Ford property or, you know, ADU or something like that. So in her opinion, the, um, it, you know, town meeting members who have nothing better to do will be very interested in our articles, more interested than usual, um, particularly on the Emmy, Emory Grover ones and the housing authority ones. And so that led to the discussion that Peter jumped into, which was, well, okay, so what if you get sort of drill down questions on you know, Emory Grover or the two housing authority articles and the, um, CPC member who's covering that particular meeting gets a kind of a, you know, hardball question or something that kind of gets them out of their depth. And uh, the league is, is um, Susan said, they're going to be verifying all this tomorrow night at their final organization meeting, but is fine if there are this, these roving attendees. Um, I think um, Dr. Glukentanz is going to do that anyway. Um, and that way, if there is a sort of in-depth Emory Grover question, um, then uh, that can't be handled by one of us, whoever, whichever meeting we're in, um, they're willing, that is the league to kind of have the procedure to be with the moderators. Gee, let's just set that aside. We know Dr. Glucanance is gonna show up in a, you know, a few minutes or an hour or whatever, and we'll just save that question for him when he does show up kind of thing. And likewise, um, she identified the two um, housing authority articles as unusually complex and dealing with issues that don't, haven't been you know, ordinarily coming before town meeting in the last few years. Um, and that's how, um, you know, when I was talking with Peter briefly debriefing him this afternoon from this meeting, the idea of having um, you know, a roving person um, for each one of those, for Emory Grover and the two housing articles, you know, might be a good idea to do. So um, I think the, uh, the, you know, we've had three people um, assigned to the housing articles. Rick is one of them. Uh, but of course, Laura spent a lot of time on it and so did Chris. So there's the possibility that maybe Laura is the roving CPC member who would be then paired up with me in wearing my kind of proponent's hat rather than my CPC member hat um, that you know would um, sort of go from classroom to classroom. Well, wait a minute. Why, why, are, why are you? On, wait, why, how, why are we unwinding that? Like why? Why? I'm why, not unwinding it. I'm just stating my report here. Oh, no, 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 but we had already said that Rick and 
Rick was going to row with you. Well, there's nobody to attend GH is why I raised oh. the question. Right, I'm not going to be here. I'm on vacation. It's That's on vacation. Not. That's right. That's right. I, otherwise, That's I right. Would. This and is what? one of the. Some of this stuff can be dealt with on a game at the game time, right? Because like this is, you know, can you know, this is a quick conversation with the moderator in the classroom to say, can you hold the CPC articles? I'm next door. Yeah. I mean, that's how I, I mean, some of this stuff we can just kind of, I think. That's organize. the way to do it too, you sure. Yep. So that's one way of doing it. But I mean, that, it's good for you to unpack the issue of that. Sure, we've got people in as best we can in the classroom. If there's some questions that come up, you can punt them to the rover. Chris Carson. Yep. Uh, Reg, if you're in precinct D, Peter, I don't mind moving over to that open spot. I don't mind being out of the precinct. If that solves everything. No, no. no. Who, who's in precinct D? No, Reg is going to be on his feet walking around. Okay, so he's going to reopen. Okay. Okay, good. So we're, we're okay. We 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 had this. We have this. Uh, okay, so um, uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, I know. There may be questions um, that Rick, Chris, do you still have a question? Chris, okay, that's right. There may be questions on the finance side for Emory Grover. Right. Rick is a rover. He can, if if any of you are out of your depth, Rick will be coming in on housing authority stuff anyway. He can speak to finance issues generally and to with respect to Emory Grover in particular. Okay, Rick. Is that all right? Can't hear you. When you're talking to the league uh, coordinators, yeah. um, you might want to just uh, suggest to them that there's, uh, if there are some questions that require more in-depth answers on any of the CPC articles, that we'll be having some people roving and, um, you know, and handle it that way. Great. We don't need to be that specific. Generally, right. we have people Never. roving. If you have some, great. That's perfect. That's that's what they'll be able to remember that night of, right? Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you, I, all right. We we're good. We've yeah. covered it. I think we have. All right. Good. Yeah. And so Peter, that, I'll start. I'll start in G and H. I'll go there first because that's my home precinct. All right. Okay. Oh, that I've seen this little scorecard where. I know that Dan, well, you were going to coordinate with Dan Gudenkantz. He usually keeps a little scorecard about where he's going. At, he has the order of where he's going. And, and he lets the uh, moderate, he lets them uh, individual classroom moderators know. So, so now think about that. I want to leave that up to you rovers to, first of all, um, uh, so that's going to be Bob. You coordinate that with Dan Gudenkantz. Yeah, I will be uh, his uh, assistant rover. Yep. And then you, Reg and uh, Rick, you figure out the order of when you where you want to go. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh, Rick, you're on mute. Again, Rick. Hold on. I'm sorry. I got it. Nope, you're off again. <clears throat> no, I just wanted to permanently get off. Um, I would think, Peter, that in your you're going to be in I and J. Yeah, so I would think that based on all the training that you've had answering questions with the select board and the finance committee, um, you'd be more than capable. I don't know if we even need a rover in your, your, your precinct party. Yeah, sometimes they pop in. Dan will pop in and say, any, any additional questions? And we'll say, no, we're good. We've covered it all. School committee covered it all. He'll okay. Say, okay, okay. take it off. So, so Reg, um, I'll start with G&H. And then I'll go to ENF. Right. Okay. Oh, All right. okay. As the rover, you will do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll get a better feel for it. Uh, we'll, we'll circle back. Reg and I will circle back with the league, confirm, firm up some things, but we have a general game plan. Okay. Some of the stuff's going to have to be done on the fly. All right. Great. Okay. Uh I would just say one more thing uh, sure. for, to firm things up. I actually was looking for this brewery planning board article, wasn't able to find it, but it must be somewhere not on the annual town meeting warrant, maybe on the special town meeting warrant. 
but I just discovered there are more Anita Maybe Maybe it is on special. I, I, uh, yeah. I had I forgotten just, that. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I discovered what I was trying to say is I actually discovered two more Needham Housing Authority articles yeah. in the annual town meeting that nobody met, you know, has mentioned to me before now, yeah. uh, like literally one minute ago, um, having to do with the fact that we're changing town bylaws um, to change one of the elected Needham Housing Authority um, commissioners to an appointed commissioner. And I happen to be the resident expert on that particular thing as well. So I've got to do some reaching out for maybe two rounds of roving here uh, that I will coordinate with Peter here. Okay, we're gonna have it covered. We really are. I have free. I have four articles in this town meeting. How about that? That popular guy. <laughs> he says you get did your best to whittle them down, but no. Uh, all right. Good. All right, so now let's go through. Um, so just a further update on the 20th, um, we have uh, Housing Authority and Needham Community Farms answering the questions uh, that Finance Committee has posed to them. Um, and what we'll do is uh, they're, they're, in the, they're in the middle of preparing their final answers to those questions. We'll send those off to uh, the Finance Committee and I'll be going to that meeting on the 20th um, with uh, Ridge Foster and um, and Joe Lakehorn, and uh, I suppose if Rick is available, because he is, uh, okay, that's right, you're out of town. Um, if if there are, it, it, so I, I think that's adequate. I think that they're going to be very limited number. There won't be any surprises. They I, they basically have said they want they're not going to stick narrowly to the questions that have already been posed. And so um, I've seen drafts of those questions and answers. I think that they'll be satisfied with those, okay? All right, so now uh, we've gotten another email. I think we've got an email from our communications uh, director um, on how to record and upload your presentations, correct? Did we forward that? And we forwarded that to all of our committee members? Yes, okay. <laughs> So uh, quickly, we'll run through this. Uh, per, uh, the first article is Article 15, Appropriate to Community Preservation Fund. And the second is 16, which is your... Yes, Bob. Uh, may I ask a question about the previous sure. item of uh, recording things? <clears throat> uh, will there be anything from uh, Dan Gutenkanz recorded, either in addition to what I might do or separate? Or I forgot what we did last town meeting. I know I did record something, but I don't know if you prepared anything. All right, so I, what- I can ask him. Okay, does anybody remember from the spring? I don't recall, or the fall rather, when we did the design money. We didn't have any, we didn't have any presentation, I don't believe, Bob, because we weren't funding any of it. Uh, but I was, then when I must've done the recording Oh, maybe it was a different season. No, I remember doing a recording. It took me like 10 takes. <laughs> all right. So this is all right. So this is an important question. Yeah. Because um I I it may be the, the moderator's been changing his rules a little or adjusting his rules on these recordings. And so it was wide open for a little while and then he kind of narrowed it. I think he limited it to one presenter for for yeah. you know. And so just let's why don't you why don't you you can go offline, Bob talk yep. to Cecilia and talk to Dan yep. and within the rules and the time limits of prescribed, you can, uh, you can okay. do your thing with Dan. Okay. Thank you. Um, one more comment slash question. Thanks uh, for that suggestion, Cecilia and Peter. Um, yes, I definitely want to play by the rules, but also I don't want to exclude the expert of Dan, who's such a powerful and persuasive speaker. And he probably knows more about the project than any of us. Um, then, Lastly, I hereby formally request somebody help me with my script so I get it to the best of our you know, ability as a team. Uh, I'm happy to draft it, but I wanna make sure I get it correct. Um, or am I just reading the warrant article? No, I think we, okay. well, all right. I think what we've learned over the years is yeah. uh, like we, we do, we probably, this committee probably does, uh, takes up a little more time than all the other committees. Um, so I think we want to pare it down. I think that's one thing. 
Yeah, so but I think we want to sell it. I mean, we uh, absolutely. Like, uh, yeah, absolutely. we got to sell it. Especially the Emory Grover. Absolutely, yeah. especially and the Housing Authority. But yeah, these are right. So, um, if you want to circulate your draft with me, that's fine. Yep. I'm um, happy to take a look. Thank oh, you. Yeah, yeah, there Joe. you go. That's yeah, better. Why don't I start Joe. with Joe Actually, and then we'll send it to you? Okay. No, you don't. Need, I don't need to. See it. I want to tell you something. The Joe Joe's the standard. He when the last time we were live, right before in 2019, Hold you it. did Hold the it. best presentation on the floor. You did. <laughs> it's true. You did. You were. You did. No. You did, Rick. You did. Don't laugh. I'm, no, I'm I'm laughing at Joe going like this. <laughs> it's true. He, he was no really impressive. Hands. <laughs> Made him really not okay. So I that's what. So you know what? And uh, that's it. That's check with Joe, Mr. Okay. Chair. Yes. Yeah, I just raised my hand. I just wanted to respond to Bob there for a minute, and I'll take my hand down. But it, if I'm a town meeting member. Um, I, I'm not sure, um, in spite of your eloquent approach to, uh, giving articles, um, they're really going to care too much about what our position is on this, other than that we're a bank and a funding source. I think they're going to be listening to Dan Gutekinds and, um, the biggest issue is going to be the, uh, the explanation is to, what are they going to do if the project does, in fact, come in $2 million over where it currently stands? Right, and, which isn't uh, really our purview. That's not our issue. No, because yeah. we're, you know, we're pretty much wedded. You've got the money now, whatever else is on your dime. So I don't okay. know, you know, other than saying perhaps we reviewed the, um, you know, the, the request for $6 million and we did the analysis and we agree with it. Um, you know, that six million is the right number. Um, and then we went ahead and based on the need for flexibility financially, you know, and beyond that, I'm not sure you have too much. So really maybe add to what Dan does. So less mm -hmm. is more might be uh, appropriate here and, and but, don't but screw it up. All right. No, but, no, but we also just want to coordinate with him. That's an excellent point, Rick. So yep. your, your lane is very narrow and Dan, Dan's got some broader responsibilities. So coordinate that with him. Less is better for you, for you, because you yep, want to I, reserve as much. And I assume that the moderator is sticking to these time limits, okay? Because I think that that was was one of the things that he brought. Uh, up. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. That's fine. But Thank between you. you and no, no, it's between it's a it's probably whatever it is, five minutes, whatever total for the presenters, and it's you yielding to uh, good and cans. Yeah, that's fine. And, we'll we'll get it done. Not a, okay, not a problem. Okay, good. All right, Rick, Rick, that was a great point. Thank you, Rick. All right, so Rick, my question for you, and on the, the finance articles, um, only one of us should deal with the, the community uh, housing fund and how we're doubling it from 10 to 20 or to 11 to 22% and the rationale behind that. Yeah, you, 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 gave, you gave that to me, the okay, first so one. And I'm right. just going to copy and paste my speech from last year and replace the numbers. All right. So now let's go back to our agenda. because so we, we may have messed this up on the agenda. Article 15 is the finance article for 2023. You're going to do that. Is that what you're That's saying? That's the one you gave me. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the, the supplement. Correct. Got it. That's fine. I mean, that's what you said. I know that. So I went and pulled out my old speech and... It was 27 minutes the last time. I got to shorten it a little. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Good. I Just talk faster, Rick. All right, great, Rick. Okay, so you'll. So now we need to slip some. Uh, we need to tell the moderator. We need to you see, Cecilia, we need to flip the presenters on Article 15 and 16. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Good. Uh, all right, uh, NHA Pre-Development Linden Chambers, Laura Dorfman. You'll be the presenter, correct? Okay. Um, I, not that it's relevant now, but I was never here for the Rover League of Women's Voters thing. I, it must have been COVID, like I started and then COVID happened. So I don't know anything about that. And it doesn't matter because I'm not, going to 
be there, but just listening to this was really interesting. Okay, uh, so you're saying you don't have any prior experience with the League of Women Voters. No, no, no. We're kind of upping our game here. We're 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 saying we're we're yeah. being more aggressive uh, about our presence and addressing CPC articles, given the um, complexity, potential con uh, controversy around our articles. So this is kind of, and is so we're it, just kind of mimicking what we've seen in the past, the way right. the, the uh, schools have handled these things. Understood. But my question is, is anything that happens at that League of Women Voters meeting on the 25th relevant to our presentations at town meeting? No. Okay, thank you. Okay. And Chris, Chris is my drama coach and he's gonna help me with my presentation. That's great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. With, res with respect to the um, um, the um, housing authority articles, um, what um, what role is uh, Reg and the housing authority have on the presentations? So I think traditionally what we've done is the the pres the uh, representative the liaison makes the presentation to. Um, town meeting and what i would suggest in this circumstance is that we continue with that with the recording and then at, on, on the floor of town meeting when there are questions um we probably should pretty quickly shift over to reg okay and what we and the only thing i was ask is that you articulate that reg foster is, is representative of the proponent he also happens to be a member of cpc but he's so um the lead, and so that's what i would say uh, I, that's what I, that would be my suggestion. I kind of work that out with Reg in advance. Does everybody feel comfortable with that? Make sense? Yep. I, that's why I asked the question. Yep. Thank you. Well, no, it's great. Okay. So now, uh, on on that, um, I I will also have, um, if necessary. I don't think it will be, but um, Susan, uh, sorry, uh, Margaret Moran of the Cambridge Housing Authority will be available. If if we get into one of those sort of, of situations, um, just as a, a fallback. Okay, so just remember that that increases the complexity a little bit. She can only speak by motion, I think. But that's, uh, okay. By invitation, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Unanimous consent. Okay, so Chris Kersel, you're handling the sur the property survey con condition survey, right? Yeah. Okay, and I okay, so you do not need a drama coach. I am the drama coach. Exactly. Okay, so your <laughs> the same rules apply for you. You do the presentation on the floor town meeting, kick it over to Reg. Right. Got it. Okay. Good. Um, next, uh, this is appropriate to community farm growing beds. Okay, this says Artie Crocker. Yeah, that's right. All right I think. I didn't wasn't here for the Artie, Artie's presentation about the fact that can you or can you not be on this committee? Do you know? Did you get advice from the town clerk? I have not gotten advice at this point. I'm still, I mean, I'm still on the conservation commission. I'm, I mean, at this point, I'll just stay on it for a little bit longer because we want to find someone to replace me and present them to the, the select board to the ones that are, who are the who are the ones that actually officially appoint okay. them. So I, my plan was to actually just simply stay on for ten minutes. Okay, what you want to do is, there, this is kind of a legal question, so you may just want to check in with the town clerk. Yeah, I'll check with the town. I'll send Teddy a message. I'll yeah, send, send her a message. message. And if you, and what we'll do is, if he, if Artie is disqualified, um, then I'll I'll do the presentation, okay? All right. Uh, high school tennis courts. This is Joe Barnes. I am, uh, I think I'm all set. I spoke with, I've spoken with uh, Stacy Mulroy. I have her uh, PowerPoint that she presented, and I've got notes that she made. So um, See? I, I, sh I should be okay. It's the standard. I told you. He sets the standard. Oh, he sets God. the standard. Okay. Huh. Uh, what have you been smoking? <laughs> Don't answer that in advice of counsel. <laughs> okay. Should I switch my drama coach? <laughs> Thank you. No, please. Enough. Okay, then appropriate for Emory Grover renovation. That's Bob Germany. Bob, you don't, you've already have you had do you have any additional questions? Not at this time. Okay, I have one additional comment. 
Go right uh, ahead, Rich. I believe the and back to the question about um, uh, proponents presenting that the Needham Channel has an interview in the can with Dan Gutentanz Kantz on this particular uh, you know proposal or article here. Uh, so there will be a you know a vehicle for that to happen, even if it isn't through the town moderator improved uh, videos here, just for everybody's information. Okay. And why do I know that? Uh, you might ask, because I also have a presentation in the can as well. They were solicited by the Needham channel, so they're currently editing it and will be posted in a, another week or so. Just it for start, it started ninety online. minutes, and you were they're editing it down to nine. <laughs> Five minutes actually is, was the budget. Oh, that's so. good. All right, good. Okay, and Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Uh, just a follow-up question on that. Uh, Reg had put together a very nice package of background questions yeah. for the warrant articles. Um, how is that going to be transmitted, or is it going to be transmitted to the town meeting members for the purposes of? Uh, having that as background before the meeting. All right, I have two answers to that. One, Reg is going to bring hard copies of the Q and A to his um, to the warrant meeting. Okay, that's just legal women voters. We should have noted that Reg is going to bring the Q and A. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. That's okay. And the second is my recollection is you can upload little items uh, as further as back further information available to, to for town meeting members to review. Uh, while they're looking at the presentation, so that so he should upload the Q and A to this and, and and identify it appropriately that it's tied to these uh, the NHA applications. Okay. Yeah. One one follow up on that. Uh, yeah. I haven't looked at the background information, um, but to the extent there's any discussion of the articles that are no longer um, as part of the warrant. That information should be pulled from that Q and A. He's going to do that. We already, I've already. Yeah. Yeah, he's way ahead of us. You know. Well, you, you told me I had to make up with Reg, and I did. Nah. So we've been talking. No make up <laughs> necessary. But I, I would add, if <laughs> told I told me what I had to do. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Um. So I've just been working this afternoon on doing that edit job on the FinCom Q and A, which is more the most immediate thing and I would have had it done 10 minutes before now except my computer literally crashed that's why I'm sitting here on my iPad and it won't work my computer doesn't work right now um, but it is done you know subject to that crash and <coughs> I expect to distribute it to Cecilia and Peter tomorrow so they can forward it on to the FinCom for uh, immediate 20th and um, and presumably also send you guys a copy of it as well. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just deleting the two articles, the questions on the two articles that are no longer going forward and then editing the rest of them to be okay. consistent with what's in the warrant. Yeah, so what we'll do is we, I'll compile that information, I'll send it to Josh, and then we'll, I'll, Cecilia will forward it to all of everyone on the committee so you know what I said to Josh, okay? Um, and what I sent to him, okay? Uh, Josh Levy, Levy is the chair of the FinCom. That's all. Okay, so um, did he get reelected too? That that appointment doesn't take place until after town meeting is over. Oh, he's a town meeting member too, right? No, not. I, I don't I don't know that he is, but the FinCom members are ex officio. Are they? No, they're not. Okay, all right. Um, so now. Just a reminder, I don't think that we need any additional meetings between now and town meeting. We probably can communicate with you with just kind of an email blast. I think that's not that would be compliant with the rules, but I don't see any need for that. We will have to do an open meet. Or we will have to do what we'll do is the night of the CPC articles, we'll convene an open, we'll convene a meeting. And so we're going to have an we're going to have a meeting at town meeting. In, in, in the event we need to uh, discuss uh, our, our business and make a determination. So just bear that in mind. Lori, have your hand up. Could you just, do you mind just going over the article numbers one more time and the people? Sure. For me? 
Okay. Article 15, yeah. appropriate to community preservation fund. Is a good good idea, Laura. That is Rick Zimba. Okay. Article 16, appropriate to community preservation fund supplement. That is Peter Pingator. Article 17, appropriate to NHA pre-development Linden Chambers. That is Laura Dorfy. Okay. Article 18, appropriate to NHA property survey. That is Chris Gerstel. Article 19, appropriate for community uh, <laughs> growing beds. That is Artie Crocker or alternatively Peter Pingator. Appropriate for Chris. Yep. Question. No. Appropriate to, for high school tennis courts, that is Joe Barnes. And that number is 20? Oh, sorry, that is Article 20. Okay. Sorry, I didn't, uh, Article 19 is community farms. Article 20 is high school tennis courts. Yep. Or Article 21, appropriate for EG renovation, that is Bob Dermody. Thank you. Okay. And so our future meeting, we will schedule a meeting on the anticipated date that CPC is going to be discussed. And I would assume it's gonna be the first night. And if it's not the first night, it'll be the second night. So plan on being there. Um, we need a quorum and I'm sure you'll all be there, but we need plan to be there. Uh, we'll probably can be, we'll do a notice of the meeting and we'll be, event, we'll be up at that table and, or available to go up to the table, okay? That's really all I have. Um, any, uh, sure, Rick Zimbo. Yeah, just a, a quick question, and I don't have the the email from Cindy in front of me, but when are the presentations supposed to be uploaded by? April 22nd. April 22nd. By That's, noon. Okay, would you be so kind as to let Cindy know that my presentation will not be there by then because I'm away on vacation? Yeah. And it'll be done by the following Monday. Not a problem. And let her know that Joe Barnes is going to be early. He's ready to upload his tomorrow morning. <laughs> he just needs to press a shirt and put on a tie. You'll be ready. Actually, actually, Peter, I'm presenting the tennis court article and I will be in all whites that night. Oh, that'd be great. That's really sweet. <laughs> that would be you would oh. pull that off. That would get, that'd be good. Okay. Although as a town meeting member, I showed up uh, dressed in swimming togs in order to support the pool appropriation and the uh, moderator would not recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> flair is not welcome at town meeting. No flair allowed. That's right. Okay. Uh, a any other questions? All right, we good? Everybody's good? Okay, all right, if you have any questions, let me know. Questions on formatting, uh, style questions, grammatical questions, Joe Barnes. Okay. No, 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 Mr. Chair. Um, yes. Also, I think that the uh, communications director is available from what I saw on the uh, email for any kind of assistance that uh, we need. Is that correct, Cecilia? I just responded to her email and it went away. Hold on one second. It says to email her to notify that it's been uploaded. Um, yeah, she, she says, don't feel, or sorry, feel free to reach out if you have okay. any questions. I have emailed her in the past and so she, and she's been available. Good, right. good. Okay. Yep. All right, motion. Yes, Bob Germany. Um, no, I withdraw my thought. <laughs> um, were you uh, about to have a, a motion to adjourn? Motion uh, to adjourn. Uh, no, I, I, I have a, a question, if you don't mind. Um, sure. it, we have on our discussion, on our agenda, discuss future uh -huh. meetings. Um, since this is my first year on the CPC, I wanted to understand what the demands are on mm -hmm. members in the months going forward. In a, just in a general way. Um, and I know I said I'd help with, uh, with the um, CPC uh, plan and I'm glad to, to continue doing that. But uh, 
any general idea about what, what the demands are in terms of meetings between now and whatever, December when the applications come in again? Okay. It, you guys are great. You keep me on my toes because um, we, after town meeting, we'll have to return to wrapping up the amendments to the CPA plan and the CPA application. Um, there are months where we haven't met, met, met at all. And so we generally don't meet in the summertime, but I think we need to probably should have a meeting right after town meeting where we kind of set the agenda for um, things that we need to do to wrap up the plan, the amendments to the plan, um, amendments to the application and the operations related issues that I brought up at our last meeting kind of get a plan to get that done so that we're, it's, 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 um, Laura, uh, we had talked about trying to get it, the application done, revamped application done by October, because I think we start posting it. Is that right, Kristen? We start posting the um, application and available application for 2024. We'd probably post the application beginning in October or so. Is that right? It's usually late August, September. Um, because that okay. way people have a few months to get the applications in. All right, let's, so that would be kind of the, we would try to wrap up amendments to the plan, uh, but, and amendments to the application uh, between June, July, and August. Lots of hands up. I'm thinking on my feet though. So let's start with, I think Laura's hand was up first and then Artie and then Jean. I was going to ask Peter, do you, I have, I have the historical uh, commission section of the plan, but do you have all of the pieces that you need to um, continue uh, if, with that? If you, if you have that piece, you should send it to me. I'll get, cracking on, it. It. Yeah, okay. get, I'll get cracking on it. Okay. Great. Thanks. All right. So the next hand up was Artie's. Artie, hand up. Um, hey, Pete. Are we going to have another meeting at all, even like a quick one before the time meeting, just to quickly open it up and then close it again type of yeah so i said I that anything i said so, that at so, town meeting we would have sorry. a it would be that's okay a town meeting we would be convening a meeting uh, on that night so i said plan that's on it. so the opening night first night of town meeting yeah we, plan on having you, a right so well, do i answer that question so so pete, so pete yeah so pete if you don't mind i wanted to thank everyone is that may very well be my my last one and it'll be short and sweet. I wanted to, so I very likely going to be off this committee, probably so. And I wanted to thank everyone. This has been, in some ways, it's an in, in, inspiration. It's it's made in my for, for my for me myself. It's made me a better person, a better a better part of the community. And I've appreciated everyone on the committee, all the input, you know, everything that we've said, every, our mission, what we do, what we advocate for. It's so important, and a lot of people don't really fully understand it. And but I've I've appreciated everyone on this committee and everyone I've met, and I just wanted to thank everyone. I'm mm. very very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so Artie, uh, I want to say that you, it's been great getting to know you and working with you on the committee, and uh, really appreciate mm -hmm. all uh, the input and the perspective that you brought. And this is really from this is a great committee. Um, and it just show it reflects really the, the real commitment that we have uh, a lot of us have to the town and you're you're right there you've been doing this for years and years and years in various uh, ways and so um, really congratulate you on, on uh, taking over um, uh, the worst job available uh, presently the open seat in the planning board just kidding but just think it's great it's you know really seriously it's great that you no I really wish you luck it's fantastic Thank you. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. Okay, so a lot of hands up. I'll just go right up across the board. Uh, Rick Simbo. Yeah, mine is um, I would I would second your sentiments, Peter, um, with respect to Artie and his contributions and good luck on this five year assignment. Um, the uh, the point I was going to raise was um, in in um, your discussions about the the new plan um, for the committee and, and the CPA and stuff going forward in the town, we did commit at some point to having a public hearing on that document. So somewhere in your planning, 
I think you ought to try and figure out where that best be scheduled um, and how we go about doing it. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out between now and our next meeting. Um, okay, I will. That's great, Rick, okay. Maybe you and I could talk about that offline too. That would be helpful. Um, okay, so get your input. Uh, Jean, hand up. Yes, um, just on what is customary as far as having uh, the meeting that's on the night of town meeting. Um, do you have it say 45 minutes before the time for opening of town meeting? Or do you have it just uh, posted so that you can get together at town meeting at whatever time uh, is necessary? So what we've done in the past is we meet uh, before town meeting. Uh, there are some motions that, that get signed uh, and and we, we we're up there 15 minutes before the start or 30 minutes before the start of town meeting. I think that's what we've done it in the past, right, Kristen? Or at least many times. Yeah. Yes, so uh, Jean's referring to the planning board who meets 45 minutes before the before town meeting, like the oh, select so. board do. So yes, Jean, it, it is just posted uh, in terms of that they may meet if their articles are called. CPC. No, but we do meet. We do. Yeah, we do, we but do an, you don't we do meet. Summer. You don't meet 40. You don't have a whole CPC meeting before the start of town meeting. Oh, no, we, you, we it's posted to be a part of town meeting. But, but, but wait a minute, let me clarify that. But we all do assemble for just yes. a few, yes, we yes. assemble, let's say 15 minutes before the start of the meeting, start of town meeting. Okay. Right? Well, yes. Okay. If, uh, if the zoning article is on the uh, special town meeting warrant, it's possible the planning board won't be meeting before before the annual town meeting. Um, but if it, if it is, I'll have to be at that meeting, that's all. But I don't have a big role to play anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. in the cpc so great these are all great questions joe barnes question okay Th this will not be a great question i'm just i'm curious i've heard nothing otherwise but we will be uh, assembling in powers hall and not outside is that correct for town meeting that's what i assume okay that's of right now joe all right uh bob germany I uh, just want to make sure we say a big thank you to Cecilia and Kristen for getting us to the, this far this year. Um, a lot of hard work. So really appreciate you putting up with us. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, thank you. Agreed. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thank you That's good. Much. Thank yeah, you. Great. We often say that we win the committee roulette, honestly. Like, it's a good committee to be on. So. What we kind really? of roulette? <laughs> wow, really? What are you talking about park and rec, huh? Oh, 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 that was always a sign position. Oh. <laughs> wow. Off Actually, Kristen, Kristen says that to all the committees. Right. I do. No. <laughs> Mr. Chair, may I make a motion? Yes. To adjourn. I will uh, second. Second, Chris Kersel. Joe Barnes. I, uh, uh, so, any good discussion? Hearing none, let's have a vote. Joe Barnes. Yes. Barney Crocker. Yes. Dermody. Yes. Dorfman. She's thinking. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Foster. Yes. Herstel. Yes. Knight. Aye. Zimba. Yes. And the chair votes aye. Okay. Thanks very much, everyone. And really, thank you for everybody's hard work and your patience putting up with me. Artie, Artie's one friendly thing was, hey, you talk a little bit too much. Uh, so that's wow. <laughs> On that note, wow, what okay. a parting Good night, shot. folks. It's okay. Good night. Thank All you. Right. Thank you again to Artie.